The app router in Next.js introduced two advanced routing patterns. The first one is parallel routes, which we learned about in the previous videos. The second is intercepting routes, which we will learn about in this video. In fact, we will explore this across two videos. In this video, we will understand the concept and conventions of intercepting routes. And in the next video, we will take a look at a practical application. Intercepting routes allow you to intercept or stop the default routing behavior to present an alternate view or component when navigating through the UI while still preserving the intended route for scenarios like page reloads. This can be useful if you want to show a route while keeping the context of the current page. For instance, consider the scenario with the navigation bar. Clicking on a login link or a button normally takes you to a full login page. However, with intercepting routes, you can configure the application to display a login modal instead, while the URL is still updated to reflect the slash login route. This ensures the link remains shareable. If the page is reloaded, or if someone accesses the page using the shared link, the full login page is displayed as expected. Similarly, in a photo feed application, where users can browse through a list of images, clicking on a photo would navigate users to a new page dedicated to that image. With intercepting routes, clicking on a photo opens a modal within the feed, displaying an enlarged photo and details like the photographer's name and location. The URL updates to reflect the selected photo, ensuring it is shareable. Direct URL access or page reloads still lead to a full page view of the photo for complete details. Of course, defining intercepting routes in an Next.js application involves certain conventions. Let's dive into VS Code and understand through examples. First, in the app folder, create a new folder named F1, short for folder one. Inside F1, create a file named page.tsx containing a simple default exported React component. Next, inside F1, create another folder F2 and replicate the page.tsx file from F1, say copy paste, but modify it to represent F2. In the F1 page.tsx file, add a link that navigates to the F2 page. So let's wrap this with React fragments, a div tag, the link component from Next.js, the text is F2, and href is equal to slash F1 slash F2. Remember, F2 page.tsx is within F1 folder. So our href is slash F1 slash F2. In the browser, on navigating to slash F1, you will find the F1 component rendered with a link to F2. Clicking this link typically takes you to slash F1 slash F2. However, we will now set up an intercepting route to change this behavior. To create an intercepting route at the same level, we use a dot within parentheses notation in a folder name. So in the F1 directory, create a new folder, dot within parentheses, and then the folder name, which is F2. Within this new folder, create a page.tsx file with the default exported React component. I've called this intercepted F2 and an H1 that says this is the intercepted F2 page and the convention for defining this route. Back in the browser, when you click on the F2 link now, the URL updates to slash F1 slash F2, but the intercepted route's content is displayed instead. Reloading the page will show the original F2 content. This is the idea behind intercepting routes. Display a different UI while in the context of the current page, but render the regular UI on page reload. 
This is the first convention for defining intercepting routes. Use the dot within parentheses prefix to match segments on the same level. In our case, F2 and the intercepting F2 folder are on the same level. Now it is also possible to match segments one level above. The convention is to prefix the folder name with two dots within parentheses. Let's look at an example. Within F1, create an F3 folder with a page.tsx file that renders a simple React component, F3 page. Next, we will define another folder F4 within F1. Within F4, define a page.tsx file with JSX to navigate to the previously created F3 page. I'm going to paste the code to save us the time. So we have an H1 that says F4 page and a link to slash F1 slash F3 to navigate to F3 page. If we head back to the browser and navigate to slash F1 slash F4, we should see the JSX H1 that says F4 and a link to F3. Clicking on the link will navigate us to F3 page. Let's go back to VS Code and intercept this navigation. Within the F4 folder, create an F3 folder prefixed with two dots inside parentheses. We are essentially saying, use this route instead of the F3 route one segment above when navigating from page.tsx within F4 folder to the F3 folder. Within this intercepting route, define a page.tsx file with a simple React component. Intercepted F3 and then the convention. If we now go back to the browser, in slash F1 slash F4, we should see the link to F3. When we click on the link, we are intercepted by the newly defined route. The URL is slash F1 slash F3. Reload the page. The URL remains the same, but we now see the original F3 route UI. This is the second convention, using two dots within parentheses to match segments one level above. Now the third convention is to match segments two levels above using two parentheses with two dots within them. However, as of this recording, there is an issue with this convention and it doesn't quite work. There is also an open issue on the Next.js repo, which was opened in October 2023 and has had no activity for over two months. Hopefully, this will be fixed soon. The last convention is using three dots within parentheses to match segments from the root app directory. Let's go back to VS Code to understand this. Let's say we need to intercept the about route, which is defined in the app folder while navigating from the F4 folder. In this case, from any level of nesting, without having to think twice, you can use the three dots within parentheses prefix. So within F4, create a new three dots within parentheses about folder. Within the folder, create a page.tsx with a React component. Intercepted about page. Add a link to about in page.tsx within the F4 folder. Head back to the browser. Navigate to slash F1 slash F4 and click on the about link. We are intercepted by the new about route. Reload, and we see the original about route JSX. To summarize, intercepting routes allow you to load a route from another part of your application within the current layout. This routing paradigm can be useful when you want to display the content of a route without the user switching to a different context. You can use a dot within parentheses to match segments on the same level, 
two dots within parentheses to match segments one level above, two dots within parentheses twice to match segments two levels above, and three dots within parentheses to match segments from the root app directory. Join me in the next video where we will take a closer look at a practical usage of intercepting routes, which should hopefully make it less confusing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.